Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your scanner not working on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and you're having problems connecting to the scanner. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to actually just do a complete power cycle of the printer and the computer. So just turn both of them off and then on again. And then hopefully that could resolve the problem for you. Something else, and that's actually would probably be the first thing I would try definitely, and sure work a good percentage of the time. Something else we can try here as well, if you open up the search menu and type in services, best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the Windows Image Acquisition Service and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic, and if service status is stopped, select the start button. And then select Apply and OK. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there we go, guys. Pretty straightforward process, and I do hope that I was able to help resolve your problem with your scanner. And one more thing we can try here if you're still having a problem, if you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you to copy it. So copy the command from the description of my video, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste it in. You can close out of the command prompt at this time. Select the Advanced button, and make sure Apply Repairs Automatically is checkmarked, and then select Next. And I'd recommend following along with any recommendations it makes as the troubleshooter is detecting issues on your computer. And you can see it did actually resolve an issue for us. So go ahead and close out of here. If you're still having a problem, you can also search for Troubleshoot. Best match or come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select Other Troubleshooters on the right side. And then underneath Most Frequent, select the Printer Troubleshooter. And if it's able to detect anything, just let it go ahead and try and repair it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So. As always, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you out. And so as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.